Today, I was so fortunate to have tangible moments, a whole day of being in real life with Colton. You look beautiful. Thank you. I mean, it's pretty cool that I got a hometown before a hometown. I can see what my future can look like, and it was awesome. Well, then go ahead and put a ring on it. <laughs> I had a really good day today. Yeah, me too. I think, you know, these last few weeks have been, have been tough. It's been very nice to be back here in Denver. Yeah. I would not have traded anything but to have this date. And I honestly felt so comfortable talking to your family, and they were so welcoming. And just to be honest, like, your mom, she's yeah. just really protective of you. And I respected that a lot. Trust me, I get that. I feel yeah. very grateful for being able to have a conversation with my mom and my dad at this point. Yeah because this is the most important week. This is the week deciding, you know, do I take that next step in the relationship? So I want to know what makes you so confident that, you know, a few weeks ago you could look at me and say, you know, I am falling in love with you. I want to know sort of how you know that, yeah. how you know you're ready. Yeah. Um, I don't just date to date. I date for marriage, and that's the way I think. I think it's intended to be, especially at this point in my life. And there's nothing that I feel like I'm, I would be missing out on. And, you know, I, I just told you I was falling in love with you in Thailand, and I am falling in love with you still. And it's a really good feeling. <laughs> I appreciate hearing that mm -hmm. more than ever. It means the absolute world to me that she is able to say and feel the way she does about me. But I don't know if I can match where she's at right now. And I don't know if I can get there. I know that I feel confident in being able to take you home to meet my mom and my dad. And I know they'll love you. And I think after that, like, just the potential of our future is really, really good, so. And I want to say thank you for that. And I appreciate that more than you'll ever know. Okay. You've been open, honest, and vulnerable this entire time. But I think coming into this week, I think I spent so much time questioning who's ready and all of this that I didn't get to really look in the mirror and ask myself, you know, am I ready? And I think more importantly, am I ready for us? And I don't know if I'm there. And going into hometowns, I can't shake your father's hand and look him in the eye if I know that I have any doubts in our relationship. I... Um, I know that you got everything that I could give you here, and um, yeah, I'm I'm a little confused as to what you want, but I'm glad to know that yeah. now. I wouldn't want you to come to meet my family if you don't feel that way, so I don't deserve that, and, um... I know there's somebody for you, and I, I know, know <laughs> somebody's going to make you incredibly happy, and you're going to make somebody incredibly happy. Mm -hmm. Can I walk you out? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> shocked him and that there is no explanation that I could give her other than for me it just didn't feel right 
I think the hardest part about all this is knowing that she was falling in love with me. Knowing that she's pretty much done everything that I've ever asked anybody to do throughout this whole entire journey. And still feeling like I couldn't get there. That is not what I want. So I'm honestly, I'm pissed. <laughs> I don't think his actions and his words really add up. You know, he says he wants somebody that challenges him, that is spontaneous, makes him laugh, is funny, has depth, heart, can be themselves completely, to be honest. I don't know who else, who it's gonna be if not me. I think we all kind of have questions for him. No. <laughs> kidding me. No. <laughs> Holy <laughs> My mind can't not wrap around this. It's just really frustrating. The desire of my heart is to be loved so fearlessly by somebody. Will not allow myself to not feel chosen every single day. And I'll wait till whatever that is. My biggest concern coming into this week is that some of the women here might not be ready for what comes at the end of this. But tonight I'm sending a woman home that has made it clear that she is ready. I'm just hoping that I'm on the right track and that I'm not setting myself up for a disaster.